Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play PSP games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen, I know you can see me playing some GTA. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be our multi emulator that we're going to be using for today's video to play PSP games. So the first thing you want to do is get this installed. Once that's installed, we're going to be back out of here and we're going to be searching for our second app which is Z Archiver. The Archiver is another free app I'd recommend to have on your Android device regardless. It's going to be used for file management, extraction and compression. In this case we're going to be using it to extract our games a little bit later on. Once you have both of these installed the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up RetroArch and if this is your first time opening up RetroArch you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage as we're going to be needing to locate the games a little bit later on. From this point what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top and here we'll see a list of all cores if we have any currently installed. What we're going to be doing is downloading and installing a PSP core so we can play a PSP games. To do this, all I need to do is click a download a core option. And then we're going to be scrolling down until we see Sony dash PlayStation portable PPSSPP. To install this core, all you need to do is click it once. You'll see some text appear at the bottom. The core will download. This may take a couple seconds, depending on your internet. And once it says core installed and the text disappears, your core is installed and we're ready to move out of here. From this point, we can click back at the top left. We can then load our core by clicking load core. And then we just select our Sony PlayStation core right here. And then our core will be loaded in. From this point, we're ready to back out of here and talk about games. And that's where Z archiver is going to come in handy. So what I'm going to be doing is loading up Z archiver and then we're going to be locating to where our games are. In this case, I have my games in my PSP folder and I have Grand Theft Auto right here. And this is a good time to mention, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to download PSP games. It's really, really easy to do. A quick Google search will help you out and you'll find plenty of results to actually find them. But in this case, I actually have GTA right here already. Now, most likely your games are going to come in a .zip or a .rar format. And that's where we're going to be needing Z Archiver to extract these games out of this format. In this case, my game is actually in a .7z file, which is a .7zip. I'm going to need to extract it out of here to get a PSP format file. To extract my game, I simply click it once and then I'll have two options to extract here if I want to extract it in its current location or I can click extract dot 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 if I would like to extract it to another location. In this case, I already have this folder specifically made for PSP games. So I'm just going to be clicking extract here and then my game is going to extract. Now this might take a couple of seconds depending on your phone and depending on the game you're extracting. Some of these can get quite big up to a gigabyte and a half, I believe for PSP games. So this might take a couple of seconds. So now that my game is extracted, you can see it's a .iso file. That's exactly what I need for this emulator. I need .iso files for my PSP. So once you have your games extracted in the correct format, which is .iso, we're ready to go back to RetroArch. Once RetroArch is loaded up and you have your core loaded, in this case, we already did it previously, but you can simply load your core again if you haven't done it yet. We're then going to be clicking the load content option, and then you're going to be locating to where your games are. So in this case, I have my PSP folder right here. I'm simply going to be selecting my ISO file. From here, if you have multiple cores that can read ISO files, you'll have to select your core again. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the Sony PlayStation Core. And just like that, your game will start to play and load up without a problem. In this case, I would recommend an external controller as I would for most emulators. I'll be leaving a card on screen and the link in the description down below where I show you how to set up controllers with RetroArch. But it should work no problem as long as you have a pretty decent phone. The frame rate should also be fine. In this case, I'm running a OnePlus 7T, so I have a Snapdragon 855 Plus. So I'll have no problem running PSP games at full speed. But depending on your phone spec, this may vary. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play PSP games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace